Welcome to the Coffee Hour, a show that involves you in verbal interaction. We have the 2020 feature, Sports with Brian Camp, and Entertainment News with DJ Pete. So settle in with coffee in hand, and enjoy the Coffee Hour. Now here's your host, Frank Allen. It's TGIF, it's Friday, here we are once again, and we're here together on another Friday here, and we're coming to you live from New York City. My name is Frank Allen, and the name of the show is called The Coffee Hour, and I'm so glad to have you aboard with us for another Friday here, as we direct uh, our attention to you and you to us. We're going to be here for the next hour, and in this hour, we're going to uh, indulge in conversation, so if you're out there, of course, watching us, no matter where you are, uh, all you have to do if you want to chime in a conversation, it's free exchange and ideas. Just type in and I will see you right there up on the big screen and I will entertain all of your thoughts and ideas and your questions and we'll just have a whole lot of fun together. And you can also interact with other people in the room and we'll have a good time together. That's what the show is all about. We're going to be here for the next hour, as I said. And we're here every Friday between uh, 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Coming up, uh, we have... Uh, the 2020 feature uh, that includes Brian Camp, 20 past the hour with sports update, bringing you the latest developments in today's world of sports. DJ Pete will be here 20 to the hour, of course, with uh, entertainment news and, of course, reciting all of those birthdays of people of notoriety. And that's all coming up. So thank you so much for being along with us. A lot to do today. Uh, if you're going to chime in, uh, please do so. But what I want you to do as well is to, uh, as you're chiming in conversation, no matter where you are, of course, unless, of course, you're from New York City, you don't have to worry about it. But anywhere around the world in different parts of the country, give us your weather forecast. Let us know uh, what's happening with your weather. And uh, this way we can get there and, you know, relay the weather forecast to other people who are watching too. Okay, that's all we ask. And it's not mandatory that you do that. It's just that's something that uh, we like to do if you do it. So I want to say hello to everyone who's watching us. We're broadcasting live on YouTube and on Instagram. Normally, we broadcast live on Facebook. However, we're not into that to, uh, this time around. Uh, we're in what we call Facebook jail, but I don't want to elaborate on that too much. Uh, we're, we're off the air with them for the time being. But the good news is that we have three more weeks to go. Three more weeks before it's all over and we'll come back live on Facebook. And that would be um, May 6th. May 6th will be the day we come back live here, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern for um, uh, the coffee hour. So uh, we'll look forward to that. In the meantime, we're broadcasting. And those of you who are watching us on Facebook, by the way, Facebook will be seeing this broadcast too. After the show is over, we're going to post this show on Facebook so you'll get a chance to see it as well. Those of you who are watching us live on the other sources, YouTube and Instagram, YouTube, if you're watching, you can subscribe to us. We want you to do that. We encourage you to do that. Subscribe to our, our YouTube channel and uh, be part of the show, be a friend of the show, and tell your friends about it at the same time. For those of you who are watching us on Instagram, you know what to do too. Just follow us and tell your friends as well. So we want to say hi to all the people who are coming in. Just give a, a little wave out there to everyone who's around, because that's what this show is all about. Interaction with everyone. That's what we do. So ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, and as we always do, what would the coffee hour be without a little coffee? So <laughs> excuse me while I shoot up. And they call it the first jolt of the day. The first jolt of the day. So there it is. And I hope that you're having yours. Now, you may be watching at work with different time zones around the world. You know, uh, let's say, for instance, if you're on the West Coast, of course, it's early in the morning. It's after seven o'clock there. And in Texas, it's after eight o'clock. Right. And here we are. I think it's like eight o'clock, right? In Texas, yeah, about eight o'clock. And uh, listen, so if you're in different time zones, of course, you want to set your clock according to us. We're Eastern, and those of you who are Central and Pacific and the whole nine yards, you know, you know what to do, right? Okay, but uh, you're watching us around the world, all around the world. So no matter where you go, you can find us. And um, 
So thank you again for being along with us. And as you already know, we're in the midst of Holy Week. So whatever you're celebrating Holy Week, we had Palm Sunday uh, that passed last weekend. And uh, right now we're in the midst of Ramadan for the faith of the Muslims. And today is Good Friday, as I mentioned, right? Good Friday. And those of you who are turning on your plates, uh, you should have done that. Uh, obviously, I didn't because I just had coffee here. So anyway, uh, that's uh, something to look forward to. You have that. And another thing to look forward to, tomorrow is Saturday. It's another Sabbath day. And that's the first day of Passover. And it, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's tomorrow is the first day of Passover. And then you have Easter, Easter Sunday. That comes Sunday, and that would wrap up uh, the Holy Week. Uh, for some, and some are getting started. So there you have it. So I just want to wish everybody, I made the rounds, I made the rounds to everyone, so I just want to wish uh, everyone a happy Ramadan, a happy Good Friday, a happy Passover, and a happy Easter to each and every one of you. Easter, Easter, that's something that's that used to be celebrated a long time ago. A lot of people, they go to church on Sunday and they want to have their Sunday best. Remember those, remember those days when, when your mom and your dad took you to church and you had a brand new suit, brand new outfit to go to church. For the, for the ladies, a brand new outfit. For the men, brand new suit. And you showed off. You know, uh, that's basically not what Easter is all about, but that's what they did. I don't know how that relates to anything, but that's what they did back in those days. You got a new suit. And I was always uh, depending on that because I always knew that when Easter came around, I was always going to get a brand new suit. I always knew that. You know, mom insisted that uh, her children and herself uh, make sure that we, when we went out on, went out there, we looked good. You know, and my mom was a snappy dresser too. You know, back in the day. But anyway, those are uh, those those are the holidays that we are celebrating right now, and uh, we invite you to, um, even though it's not a official holiday, a long holiday, it's not a long weekend, but it is Easter holiday. And of course, Ramadan for people of the Muslim faith. And then uh, today's Good Friday, and then you have Passover tomorrow. So that's all in gear. So I'm glad uh, all of you are here today. And let's see, I got a little news here. And those of you who already probably found it out, we found it out yesterday. Uh, comedian Godfrey, uh, Gilbert Godfrey, or I would say Godfrey. That's how you spell it, Godfrey. I ain't Godfrey. Yes, Gilbert Godfrey uh, passed away yesterday after a long illness at the age of 67 years old. Pretty sure you heard about that. It wasn't spread around in the news too much yesterday, uh, but I just figure I'd just throw it out there. I did it last night on Talk Back Live, so I just figure I'd throw it out today or we lost him. He was a great comedian. You, you, you know who he is. He's the guy with the squinchy eyes. And he talks like this, you know, very nice comedian. Uh, and I didn't even know that he was ill. I had no idea of knowing that he was ill. I never looked. But yes, he did pass away. Uh, uh, I believe it was yesterday. If it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before. But the news broke uh, when I woke up yesterday morning. So I'm thinking maybe it was uh, the day before that. But any, at any rate, he died at the age of 67 years old. So our thoughts and our you know, condolences go out to his family, his friends, and all the people he worked with, his colleagues and fellow comedians and everyone who knew him and loved him and uh, just wish our very best. I see more people are coming in, so I just wanna wave to you guys, say hi and thank you. Um, please, again, if you're gonna chime in in conversation, if you're gonna say hi, please give us your weather forecast. Uh, I, again, it's not mandatory. It's not mandatory. We, we, we just like to, just to put it out there, you know, for, uh, and read it out to other people. I have a weather forecast for you. For those of, those of you who are in New York, right? Don't worry about that. Don't come in with your weather forecast. I will take care of that. Uh, that will be taken care of. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, yesterday was something else. We had, in New York, I'm speaking New York here, because this is local for me. We had, it was fantastic yesterday. It was fantastic. We went up to 83 degrees, somewhere around 83 degrees yesterday. And when I started my day, and I was out all day yesterday, and I figured since the weather was going to be that great, I might as well, whatever was on my bucket list or my to-do list, I was going to take care of, you know, take care of everything. Because, you know, when you come around the weekend, I don't want to do anything on the weekend unless it's 
something that I want to do. You know, I like to keep the weekends free for myself. And so, you know, the, the, the sun was shining uh, when I when I started my day yesterday. I think it was something around, I think, 66 degrees, you know, around 66 degrees. And then the temperatures climbed and went up to 80. And um, people were out in, in their sleeveless uh, uh, shirts and they're just walking around like it's officially summer. Uh, I tried to take things a little bit at a time. You know, I know the day before that was pretty warm, but it wasn't warm enough for take, you know, uh, your coat off. So I still had a heavy coat. It was a heavy jacket, not a coat, but a heavy jacket. But yesterday, I didn't use the heavy jacket. I used a light jacket, a, a light sports jacket, and it was good enough. And it was still a little warm at that. But you know, you know, I'm not a, I'm not the kind of guy that want to play around with this kind of weather, you know, because as hot as the weather was yesterday, it gets cool. As a matter of fact, I think it's gonna be cooler today than it was yesterday. Still warm, but a little cooler than yesterday. And so that's uh, what I did. And uh, and so, you know, you could feel that sun on your back. It's just like penetrating on your back. You know, you're outside and I figure, and I would imagine a lot of people who worked yesterday, Usually when you go out, you might buy your meal and eat it in the office, or maybe you want to be in the company cafeteria or something like that. Or, uh, but yesterday, I would imagine a lot of people brown bagged it and, you know, sat out in the outdoor cafes. And if they were brown bagging it, they were sitting in the park or something. It was that kind of day yesterday. It just was that kind of day yesterday. It's okay today. It's okay today, but not as, as warm. So anyway, just in case you're just joining us right now, it's 11 minutes past the hour, and the name of the show is called The Coffee Hour. And my name is Frank Allen, and we're going to be with you for the balance of the show, which is at the top of the hour. And uh, thank you so much for being along with us. Okay, talking about that weather, we do have it for you. And uh, as I look, as I look at, as I look at it now, we talked about the temperature. The temperature is 60 degrees now. It dropped since the last time I looked at it before we were on the air because it was something like 67. So I'm, I'm not sure how that's good, but I'm looking at it now. It's even 60 degrees outside. And uh, it's not, it's not going to be a bad day. It's a lot of sunshine today. As a matter of fact, this is how uh, it goes for us. Plentiful sunshine today. We'll have a high 68 degrees. Winds will be west southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour, 68 degrees, that's close to 70, so it's not bad at all. Tonight will be partly cloudy early, uh, followed by cloudy skies overcast overnight. We'll have a low of uh, 54 degrees, winds will be south-southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. For Saturday, uh, we get the clouds coming in, and uh, uh, we'll have a few showers late in the uh, day. We'll have a high 66 degrees. Winds will be south southwest at five to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain will be 40%. That's not a big chance, but it is a chance. And for Saturday night, cloudy skies, and it's going to be damp with rain early and then becoming partly cloudy. Uh, later on, we have a low of 42 degrees. Winds will be uh, northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain boost up to 70 degrees for Saturday night for 70% for Saturday night. And as we wrap up our weekend for Easter Sunday, you're going out, you make sure your suit won't get wet. Your suit won't get wet at all because it's gonna be sunshine and clouds mixed together, but it's gonna be dry and we'll have a high 52 degrees. Winds will be Northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So it's all right to wear that new suit or that new outfit for you ladies. However you're going, you went out and you bought this expensive suit this expensive outfit, it's all, it's all safe, it won't get wet, it'll be dry. That's here in New York, anyway, here in New York. And so, uh, again, our present temperature is 60 degrees, and even 60 degrees. Now, for those of you who may be in different areas, uh, in a different climate somewhere, uh, your temperatures may be higher than ours, you know, uh, but still, you know, act accordingly with this weather. Please act accordingly with this weather because this is the kind of weather that tells you I got you. And you may dress real light one day 
as if it was summer, because a lot of people do that. They, the minute that the weather gets a little warmer, a hint of warmth, they just shred off those clothes. I like to do it little by little, just take it easy, you know, and then you wind up getting sick. So you don't want to do that. So act accordingly with this weather. Okay. And excuse me while I shoot up. Now, things are coming on for the weekend, and those of you who are, may have plans for the weekend, especially if you're going to have good weather, uh, a lot of people who are in the weather where it's really warm outside, they're looking for that uh, back out, back door, uh, backyard barbecue outdoors. They're looking for that. They're going to be doing, a lot of people are going to be doing that. You know, because it's, it's it's warmer in a lot of other places. Like if you go like in the desert area, like you go in California, it's warmer out there. In California and and you have uh, um, and, and Nevada out there, and all of those places where you can go over there and and uh, places like uh, uh, Arizona too, which is known to be dry a lot, and. Um, and I'm pretty sure the temperature is going to be out there. A lot of people are going to be doing a lot of outdoor things. But I want to add to your weekend, too, for those of you who may not have the luxury of doing outdoor things, and maybe you might run into, uh, you know, inclement weather that will keep you indoors. I have for you later on in the program, as the program goes along, I have for you the um, movies that you love so much. Those Turner Classic movies, those classic, I love classic movies, don't you? I have those I'm going to give to you to add to your collection of uh, things to do for the weekend. Uh, and you can, and, and they're good movies too, I gotta tell you. So all of that is coming up uh, in just a few minutes. It's 16 minutes past the hour right now, coming up to 17 minutes past the hour. And of course, those of you who are watching us, who wanna say hi, people are just waltzing in here. I see my friends right there on um, Instagram, they're popping up uh, and I just wanna say hello to them and again, even though that we're not broadcasting live on Facebook at the moment, which I, as I stated earlier, we'll be doing that in three weeks, we still will be broadcasting this show after the show is over live here. We're gonna broadcast it uh, for uh, the benefit of the people who normally watch us on Facebook and don't drift over to YouTube or Instagram for whatever reason, you know, we would love for you to come in on this side and, and watch us, but uh, it's not, like it's going to be watched in real time, of course, we're broadcasting live now, but after it's all over, then we're going to post the show on Facebook and uh, you'll get a chance to see it. Now, I said something earlier, a couple of weeks ago. We're also going to uh, be doing some broadcasting. We don't know when. I, I, didn't, I didn't decide that yet. And there's a, um, a, a media called uh, Twitch TV. Twitch TV, it's kind of a new TV, it's Twitch TV. And um, we're looking forward to doing that as well. We're looking forward to that, that's coming up. Uh, so when we be broadcasting on four other channels, so you got four places to go when we do this. So you're going to have, of course, Facebook, and then of course, YouTube and Instagram, and then we add uh, uh, Twitch. Now we're gonna, we haven't decided that yet. So we're gonna keep that on the back burner for now. Uh, but eventually we're gonna get there and we can do some live broadcasting on there. Uh, so, you know, we've got places to go. We, we, we're moving along, you know, we're going to other places and we're expanding and, and doing things like that. And that's what we wanna do. Now, DJ Pete uh, is here today and he left me a weather forecast and he's gonna be here uh, in just a few minutes not too far away in the show, a 22 the hour with his feature on um, entertainment, but he's got a weather forecast out in Portland, Maine. That's where he is now. Home sweet home, Portland, Maine. Weather forecast is going to be sunny skies and you're going to have a high of 61 degrees, low 47 for tonight and winds out of the west at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So Portland is looking good. You know, I, I always know, I always notice that when we have bad weather, Portland has bad weather and vice versa. I don't know what that is. I don't know if we're sending it to Portland or Portland is sending it to us. I do know at times with Brian Camp, you know, he lives in Charlotte, North Carolina. I have a feeling that he sends whatever weather that he has to us here in New York. It usually comes, it usually happens that way. It comes south to north. 
up north, you know, come south to up north, you know, weather just that way. But we'll see. And I think, I think, I think if uh, ge geologically, I think Portland, Maine is a little more um, north, northern than New York City. I think on the map, yeah, I look on the map. Yeah, Portland, Maine is a little more north than New York City. So maybe whatever Brian sends up from south, it passes New York and goes to Portland, Maine. Whatever. Anyway, we're here and we're gonna remain here for, uh, I guess the, uh, the next hour or so. And um, we've got uh, all of the things coming up. As a matter of fact, we talked about sports, sports come up. And Brian Camp with the latest development today's, today's world of sports. He was here last night too. And he's here in New York, as a matter of fact. He's not coming out of Charlotte uh, today. He's, he's here in New York, New York City. And uh, he's going to, he, we don't know the weather out in Charlotte. Maybe he does, maybe he checked it before he, he came on here, but he's here in New York City right now. So uh, we're gonna bring him along. With the latest developments in today's world of sports. You got to take that copy down so we can see you. that copy blocking your camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just give me a second with that. Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. It, this is this is new to him. He's a baby. He's a right there. Uh, no, no. It's just that I had the cover on. <laughs> and he's I, all masked up, which is one of the leads that you should follow there. He's masked up. He's got his headphones on. So... How's it going? That T-shirt. What do you got there? This is when um, this is the T-shirt from the Essence Festival that I went to a couple of years ago in New Orleans, and um, it was um, you know the Essence Festival they they usually have every year around the Fourth of July weekend. So we hung out, watched some shows, and went to see um, um, Bourbon Street. Um, you know, at the at the uh, where they have all the crazies that's down there. Yeah. And it was it was nice and it was fun, yeah. Yeah, you see the yeah, shirt. Bur Bourbon Street is like what the heart of the area of uh, of New Orleans. It's the heart of it's the heart of yeah. Yes, of New Orleans. Yes. Yeah. That's, so that's, that's a famous so, Bourbon Street. I remember years ago. They yes. Had, you wouldn't remember this, but years ago they used to have a uh, a show on TV called Bourbon Street Beat. Actors, yeah. the main actor was Andrew Duggar, but that was a long time ago. That was before you and Pete were born. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so old. Yeah, but good morning to everybody out there. And um, it's um, beautiful weather. It's 62 degrees here in Roosevelt Field, uh, Long Island. Uh, we're going to have um, the high is going to be 65. It's going to be sunny all day. What a way to, um, to end the week. Um, to start the week weekend off, and we're gonna have lots of um, beautiful weather and join my stay here in New York. So good, good morning again to everybody out there. Let me get to the sports. Um, Major League, Major League Baseball uh, sports officials um, announced a plan by baseball players who left the island to play in the Major Leagues to field their own team to the next for the next World Baseball Classic. Now, the Baseball Classic is when they play every winter, um, different people from the Caribbean islands and various countries to play in, in the world of um, the world classic. The president of the Cuban Baseball Federation, Juan Renaldo Perez called a news conference um, and accused the group of, of trying to observe um, Cubans represent, representations in the, in the international competition. A group called the Association of Cuban Professional Baseball Players announced that, that they hope to form a team to compete in the Classic, which is scheduled for 2023. Not for this year, but for 2023. However, Major League uh, Baseball uh, says the group would have to win approval for the World Baseball Softball Confederation in order to participate in Cuban's official baseball federation is uh, is a member of that group, so that's where we stand right now. Retired longtime baseball announcer Vince Gully um, um, achieved um, he won the Baseball Digest Lifetime Achievement Award. Willie Mays won it last year. It's, it's the first award given to this new new award. This is the second year, and Vince Gully um, wins it. He's 94 years old and retired after a 20 
16 season with ending with with um, a 67 year broadcasting career that stretched from all the way back from Brooklyn all the way to LA. That's where the Dodgers originally from, from Brooklyn. And um, so this is where they um, landed at in LA back in 1957. And um, he wins that award. Um, it was the long, it was the, it's a longevity. It's the easiest, the longest tenure of announcer in for any team when he announced the games. The San Francisco Giants made history a couple of nights ago as um, Alicia Nacon makes baseball history. There's the first woman to coach on a field in a regular season game after the regular coach, the Giants, Antonio Richardson, was ejected in the third inning. So she made history. Congratulations to her. A manager said she did a wonderful job along with the rest of the people. Football news um, for the second time. This is, this is a little deep there. Uh, NFL Cam Newton is being scrutinized for social media for making a sexist con comment. He, he went on, on to say, these are his words. Uh, he says, um, women should just learn to be quiet. Be quiet and learn to listen and, and to say that if you know how to cook, cook. I'm just paraphrasing, paraphrasing what he said because it's long, so I'm not going to give everything. But um, he was saying that, you know, this is, you know, women should just know their place in line. This is the second time he was scrutinized back in 2017. Uh, he's looking for a job now. This is now how you're going to get a job because, yeah, because whoever hires you or might want to think about hiring you would think twice about hiring you because you make a sexist remark towards women. So we'll see what happens. In football, uh, college football, and in pro football, uh, Ohio State will honor the legacy of the late Dwayne Haskins uh, at spring at a spring game this Saturday. Uh, Haskins was and died was killed tragically um, last last Saturday um, by a dump truck uh, as he was walking on the highway in South Florida Highway. He was being um, he was being trained. He was training with some of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, in the, during the off season and he unfortunately had passed away. This sport, this day in sports, this is a, the first one I'm gonna give you is really something that is historic. Today marks the 75th anniversary of the late great Jackie Robinson, who was the first African-American baseball player to play in the major leagues. Uh, 75 years ago, he, 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 he broke the barrier um, he, he set, he set, he paved the way for a lot of minorities who, who wanted to come into play in the uh, major league, including, 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 um, uh, Hispanics and other minorities. So congratulations to the late, and thank you for the late, great Jackie Robinson on this day. Um, they honor today where every major league baseball team will wear his number 42. Number 42 will never be worn again by any major league baseball player. That was in 1947. 1954, Orioles' first game in Baltimore was on this day. First game in, um, in California, the San Francisco Giants beat the LA Dodgers. Yay, beat the Dodgers eight to nothing. Um, the Giants move out to San Francisco. They left the polo grounds in New York in 1957, NFL changes the penalty flag from white to bright gold. Remember they used to, they uh, throw, we're accustomed to seeing the, the gold flag being for a penalty. Well, now it, before that it was, it was white. So they changed it back in 1965. 1968, Houston Astros defeated the Mets in one nothing in 24 innings. That's a lot of innings. That's, that's equivalent to almost three full games. It's amazing because it's nine innings to every game. So if you, if you added three more innings to that game, it would have been a three full games. It would have been like a, equal to a triple hitter. 1976, the New York Yankees reopened and de defeated the Minnesota Twins four to nothing. 1977, first game at Montreal Olympic Stadium, where they used to play at Jerry, at Jerry Park, Montreal. That's where they used to play, but has been now called the Montreal Olympic Stadium. 1991, Magic Johnson set the NBA record 
the career assists at that time, 9,898. 1991 also set the Sacramento Kings set a record for losing 35 consecutive road games. And that's, that's, that's a record. That's, I don't think that would ever be broken. Uh, like I said, um, in 1940, um, Major League Baseball, Willie Davis, born at um, Mineral Springs, Arkansas. We're doing birthdays now, 1942, the NBA Walt Hazard was born in Wilmington, Delaware. And then 1956, Michael Cooper was born in Los Angeles, California. So that sports everybody. Um, sorry for the rush, but you know, we have a lot of noise back back here, people checking in and out at the great holiday inn. Uh, I see they, they have a pool here. So maybe right after the sports break or after the show, I'm gonna take a dip in the pool and just, you know, let's see what happens. <laughs> it's by commemoration. I don't know if you could see that. Number 42. That's my commemoration. That's the yes. best I can do for today. I wish I had bought. I wish I had bought my uh, my cap. I have a. Uh, I told you this many times. But I have a replica of a Everett's Field cap, which they used to use back in the days when they used to sell popcorns and peanuts, and uh, the, the vendors used to wear those caps. And on the back of that cap is number forty. I have two of those caps. I have a, a Sandy Koufax cap too. Mm -hmm. Well, That's you know, it's, it's it's difficult for me to wear a, a, a Dodger jersey because I'm a San Francisco <laughs> Giant fan. But I do have a Jackie Robinson um, jersey back at home. I have a Brooklyn Dodgers hat to wear with the jersey. and um, But I wear it just because I'm from Brooklyn. So, you know, and it, it's, 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 it's something that I honor um, because he, when I say he broke barriers and he fought for social equal justice, you know, you know, you know, he he deserved to be honored. He wasn't the greatest player coming out the old Negro League, but he was the best choice. He was definitely the best choice. And I'm so glad that he was able to, you know, do this and and just be part of his history. And I'm so happy for him and for his family to allowing us to share his memory. Well, I had the honor of playing in a Jackie Robinson League when I was a kid. I played football, I was an athlete. I, I had the honor of playing in his league and uh, they had a, uh, a chapter in different parts of the boroughs in New York In every, every, in every borough, they had a chapter of the league. So, um, and I had the honor of actually meeting him as well, because when we went to pick up our trophies that year, uh, he was there for ceremonies. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, so I was happy that, that happened. So that was great. Jackie Robinson. Great. Yep. Yes. And before I go, I just want to say uh, this is Holy Week. Yep. Um, went to a service last night. Today is Good Friday, Friday service. And Sunday is, as we call it, we don't call it Easter, but some people do. I'm not, I'm not going to say to don't say, but we call it Resurrection Sunday. We want everybody to um, enjoy and remember what, what the sacrifice, what our Savior have done, have made for us. And to those, um, to my Jewish brothers, I wish you the same. And to all the other um, 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 uh, um, 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 Christians who celebrate in any kind kind of way, I say I say the same to, to you as well. Yeah, I covered all the bases this morning. Uh, we had Palm Sunday uh, last Sunday. Uh, this is the week of Ramadan for the Muslim faith. Ramadan, yes. This is Good Friday, of course. Tomorrow is the beginning of Passover. And then you have Easter Resurrection Day. Yes. So I, think I, I think I might have covered all the bases. Yes. And if I didn't, I apologize. Yeah, I'm going to go out and get some jelly beans, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Easter uh, egg, chocolate you, bunnies. <laughs> now you got me going. Now you got me going. As soon as I get off the air, that's where I'm headed. Yeah. Okay, listen, uh, we'll catch you back here what, uh, next week. In Charlotte. In Charlotte, you'll be in Charlotte next week, and we'll catch you back in here. Charlotte. All right. Yes. All okay. Right. Take, Take care. Take care. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was Brian Camp with the latest developments in today's world of sports. Sports update. He's here every Friday at this time, bringing you the latest developments, and of course, you know, a lot of good news. And I'm so glad that sports is back because I remember the time the news was very short, 
uh, when the seasons came around for uh, events like baseball and, and basketball and football, you know, they had to cut out people, you know, the, the cardboard fans, you know, and then they had to use the uh, uh, audio to represent a crowd that was actually there that really weren't there. Uh, but we came a long way. Here we are. And now baseball is back. We're in the baseball season now. And uh, my Yankees, they're doing good. Keep up the good work, guys. Okay. Anyway, that was Brian. And that was his part of the 2020 feature. Coming up next in about five minutes, uh, 22 the hour, DJ Pete will be here for his part of the 2020 feature. 22 the hour with, uh, of course, uh, entertainment of uh, news, news entertainment and uh of course he'll recite all of those birthdays of the people of notoriety in the world of music entertainment and what have you and that's all coming right here and later on again as i said i'll give you all of the uh movies uh, to add to your collection of what to do for the weekend uh watch those turner classic movies that's all coming up and um, we're looking forward to that it's now uh well we're coming up to um 24 minutes to the hour. And uh, of course, it's the coffee hour. And just in case you're just joining us, uh, this is where we are. And uh, again, excuse me while I shoot up. I want to repeat those of you who are just coming in. This is what we do each week. Uh, we get together, have a little coffee. Uh, it's not like it was before because we're waiting to get back on Facebook, which we'll be doing in three weeks. But in the meantime, this is where we are. And if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, don't make it your last time. As a matter of fact, if you're watching us live on YouTube, you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's right there. And uh, you can be part of us, part of the show, and uh, be a friend of the show. And those of you who are watching us on Instagram as well, you know what to do. You follow us and we're here. And tell your friends about it too. Just get them in on the action as well. And for this show that's live, it will go on Facebook uh, shortly after we get off the air, you know, because we want to make sure that everybody gets it. And when we get back on Facebook, when we get back on Facebook, uh we want you to be able to tag your friends as we broadcast live you can tag your friends while we're broadcasting live so we're gonna wait for that time to come i can't wait for that time to come uh i, I miss facebook as much as as much as i was kind of like miffed I, I i can't wait to get back i can't wait i can't wait to get back to uh facebook so there we go we are we are here and you are there and so am I, many people will walk by and by. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Um, I'm pretty sure you heard in the news here in New York, and I, I, I don't want anyone uh, who visit New York because we always walk, welcome tourists to come in, always welcome them. I personally like to welcome them when I see them. I don't go to the tourist areas as much because the local people don't do that. You know, uh, I don't go to Times Square or, or some of these places where they, they uh, lo it's not that we're anti-social, it's just that local people just go, don't go to these places. And the tourists that come in, but you know, we pass by, it's just that this, you know, it's not like we never set foot there. We pass by, we go there and you see tourists, they're having a lot of fun and I, I love to welcome them. Uh, and I, I'm making this point is because, you know, uh, a couple of days ago, you, you heard about the, uh, the, the shooting in the subway, right? Now, this is something that I haven't seen in a long time, or I haven't seen at all. I haven't seen it at all. This subway shooting, and they apprehended the man. His name is Frank James. Isn't Frank James a brother of Jesse James? Come on, really? There's a Jesse James had a brother named Frank James. However, this is not the Frank James. This is the guy that they apprehended. He is the one that threw the smoke bomb in the subway car that had contained a lot of people in there, you know, commuting from one place to the other. And then after the smoke was so thick, he started firing bullets. Fortunately, no one died. A couple of people wound up in the hospital. I think there are two people in the hospital as we speak right now recovering and understand that they're recovering nicely. They'll be out. Uh, some people who spent the whole day in the hospital, but they were able to come out in the evening. 
but this is something that you know you don't get to see. You don't, you know, I, I, I lived and I lived a long time, but I never thought, I never thought that uh, I would see anything like this. I never thought, never thought it. I thought I've seen it all and I haven't seen anything, you know? So uh, I guess we'll talk more about that, but I just make sure, I wanna make sure that the people who are watching us don't get discouraged on um, coming to New York. And so we're going to leave New York temporarily. And as a matter of fact, we're not going to leave New York temporarily. We're going to combine with Portland, Maine. And he's back uh, from exile. <laughs> I am glad Hello. to see you. I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> hey, Frank, how you doing? Hi, almost, Brian, everyone almost, else out there. I almost forgot what you look like. <laughs> I almost did, too. Uh, so, so. Some of you know that I work in live events and, and other things like that, and work has been coming back for us. And it's like uh, since the end of February, every fr almost every Friday, bang, 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 there's a job going on, and I'm there to work on it. So, <laughs> and I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and I wish you, I wish you filthy rich. Well, I'm, I don't think I'll be filthy rich, maybe just filthy from the work. <laughs> you have a lot more than I would. <laughs> yeah. So um, so let's see. We got a bunch of names for this week. And uh, I'm using my new computer here, so I'm trying to figure things out. Uh, let's start with, uh, let's see, born April 10th, 1959, and he's still around today, Brian Setzer. Uh, you know him from the Stray Cats Rockabilly Band. He also had his big band, uh, Brian Setzer Swing Orchestra, and he also has had a solo band, one or two in the past. Uh, born in Massapequa, New York, Long Island, uh, uh, is where he, he started, and some of the members of the Stray Cats were born in that area also. Slim Jim Phantom and uh, Lee Rocker. Um, and so, yeah, they, it, Brian has had a really great career, uh, a lot of great songs, uh, Rock This Town, Stray Cat Strut from the, from, uh, the Stray Cats band is uh, some of their popular tunes there. If you're ever wondering why did Brian Setzer have a big band for a number of years, a whole like swing orchestra. And the story that I heard is that back in the day, he was on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. And Doc Severinsen, who was the band leader at the time, asked Brian and the band, do you want our band to back you guys up? And they said, sure. And so that's how, from, from what I hear, how Brian got the idea of having a swing band is just from that one night uh, on The Tonight Show years ago. Uh, let's see, who else is born? April 10th, 1921, uh, Sheb Woolley. He was an American actor, singer, uh, recorded a series of novel songs, including the Purple People Eater song. You, you know, the Purple Pe one eyed, long horde flying Purple People Eater song. <laughs> he did that. He had a lot of great other uh, songs he did. He was in the film High Noon, uh, The Outlaw Josie Wales, and TV series Rawhide. Uh, so happy birthday, Sheb Woolley. Check out his music uh, besides a Purple People Leader song because he's got a, a great uh, uh, song selection there of what he's done. Uh, let's see, April 13th, 1946, Al Green, uh, American singer, songwriter, pastor, record producer, uh, known for his uh, uh, recording a series of soul hit singles in the early 1970s, Take Me to the River, tired of being alone i'm still in love with you and many more al green great guy check out his music uh, if you like soul stuff uh april 14th 1932 loretta lynn uh american singer songwriter uh she her career spans six decades in country music um Let's see, Don't Come Home a Drinkin' is one of her one of her songs. You Ain't Woman Enough is another one. Uh, Fist City, Coal Miner's Daughter, uh, and many more. Great, wonderful career, Loretta Lynn. Uh, let's see, Bessie Smith. Now, not a lot of people may know that name. Bessie Smith, 
born April 15, 1894. That's right, 1894. She was an American blues singer uh, during the jazz age, uh, nicknamed the Empress of the Blues. Uh, she was the most popular female blues singer of the 1920s and 30s and uh, often was regarded as one of the greatest singers of her era. Major influence on blues singers as well as jazz vocalists down the road. Born in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, and had uh, she's got some really great, if you like this old style blues stuff, check out Bessie Smith. She's got a, a lot of great music there. Roy Clark, April 15th, 1933. American singer, musician, uh, known for having hosted the television show. And you know this one, Frank, Hee Haw. Remember that? Uh, national televised uh, country variety show from 1969 to 1997. I didn't realize it went until 1997. Uh, I just remember it back in the late 60s, early 70s there. Did you watch it all, at all? Oh, yeah. I used to watch it all the time. I remember when... Um, I, I, what's her name the one that used to wear the tag on her hat oh yes yeah i know who you're talking about i forget yeah. her name but yeah <laughs> um yeah she there was a and there was a reason for that tag but i will i think i mentioned her name once on a show yeah. and i'll we'll bring that up next time it's her birthday <laughs> but uh yeah during the 70s clark was uh he was also a guest on the johnny carson show uh a number of times here. So happy birthday, Roy Clark. Let's see, we have another Roy, uh, born April 16th, 1929, Roy Hamilton. Uh, he was only about 40 years old when he passed away. Uh, American singer combining uh, classical uh, and traditional black gospel with R&B. Um, and uh, great American songbook uh, he he, uh, he brought soul to the American uh, songbook of singing, actually, later on. Earlier, well, he was more of a r and style and, and, and classic stuff. But later on, he started going into the soul stuff. Pretty good stuff. Roy Hamilton. He was in a, a movie. Um, I think it was R.O.C.K. Rock. One of those. It was one of those Alan Freed movies in the 50s that that came out. I can't remember which one it was, but I remember seeing him there. Uh, and I let's that see. Was an Alan Freed movie. I uh, know. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it uh, wasn't. But it was. It was around the time of all yeah, those around that Alan time. Freed yeah. movies there. Um, and finally, April sixteenth, nineteen twenty-four, Rudy Pompili, uh, American musician, best known for playing tenor sax with Bill Haley and his Comets. He was actually the second sax player. To, to play with Bill Haley, but uh, he was also well known because he made it to the films that Bill Haley and the Comets were in. Uh, Calling All Comets is a wild, crazy rock and instrumental by Bill Haley, and it features Rudy on the saxophone, uh, wailing on his saxophone there. And that's what I have for this week, Frank. The person that we were talking about was Minnie Pearl. Minnie Pearl, yes. Pearl, that was the one. And that, and that story about the tag on it, you told me that story. You already told yeah, me. yeah, I, I, I forget what the reason was for it, but it was, but yeah. I forgot, it was fascinating. It made a lot of sense too. You know, it, it was great. And Bessie Smith, you know, she would have been 182, uh, 182, uh, 120. <laughs> I, 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 I switched the numbers around. 128 years old. Yeah. Roy Clark would have been 89 years old. But, you know, Bessie, there's a story behind Bessie Smith. She said she would she would beat up a guy. <laughs> I'm sure she would. But uh, by the pictures of her, I wouldn't mess with her. <laughs> I wouldn't mess with her either. It didn't work out. <laughs> oh, God. OK, listen, uh, I've got two birthdays. I've got uh, singer Samantha Fox. She's 56 today. And recording artist Dave Edmonds, he did he did the cover version of "I Hear You I Hear You I Hear You Knocking," but you can't come in. Mm -hmm. uh, he's eighty. He's seventy eight today, and those are the only birthdays I have. I found uh, Minnie Pearl's hat. It's on display at the National Museum of American History in Washington D.C. Hmm, interesting. Wow, that's that, that's that's great. 
Uh, I, I, you know, but that story, that story was great. That story that you told me, that was a great story though, you know. Um, yeah. I see, I see your, your, your video is frozen here, but I think you could still hear me. I think you could still- I can hear you, can, can you hear me? All right. No, yeah, I can hear you, I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. I see you, but it's okay, it's, it's okay. Listen, you know, I, I can't believe that you're here. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't I get you here, man, but I'm glad to see you. And um, I'm not going to even bother you about what's happening next week as we play it by ear. Yeah, it's, it's uh, everything I got to play by ear right now because yeah. uh, of uh, my schedule. So, yeah, I understand. I understand. But it's nice to spend the time with you today. That's for sure. Well, thank you. And uh, glad to hear from Brian and everybody else out there. Are we are we still on YouTube? Because I didn't see us on today. Uh, is that live or is that yeah, going to be know, uploaded? You know, Pete. You know, I'm going to call you a little later. And I'm going to yeah. explain. I'm going to explain that for you. Okay. We are on YouTube, uh, but we're not on the regular page. For some reason, I can't get on there, and maybe you could help me out with that. Okay. So I'm All right. Call well, you after the show. All right. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Okay. All right. So, hey, listen, uh, we'll catch you back here, you know, one way or the other. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. okay. You take care of yourself. Have a great All right. Day. You too, Frank. Uh, shout out. I don't have my information uh, on my radio show, but if, if, if you know it, Frank, yeah, you can call it out I to them. Um, and uh, we'll see you hopefully next week. You got it. All, All right. right. Take care. Here, have a good one. Okay, that was DJ Pete. Always glad to see DJ Pete. And DJ Pete, I do have the information of your show. You can catch DJ Pete on his radio show. And you can catch him on www.radio-airwaves.co.uk. Also, you can catch, he's there Mondays at 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Also, you can catch him on his hometown station, WMPG. Uh, and uh, you, if you don't catch them on the radio, M WMPG, there's always a website, WMPG.org. That's www.wmpg.org. And that's every other Tuesday between 8.30 p.m. and 10 p.m. And that's all times of Eastern. And that's in the United States and Canada. So there you go. Yeah. So listen, it, it, when, when P -D DJ P didn't have his information, I got it for you. I'm, I'm always covering the, I'm trying to cover, I always try to cover the bases for my guys when they come in. If, they, if they're if they lacking something, I try, try to jump in there and cover it. Keep everything, you know, uh, within arm's distance and I can pull it out of there and, and, uh, and help them out. But that's it. There you go. Okay, so we just wrapped up our part of the 2020 feature, that second part of the 2020 feature uh, with DJ Pete. And uh, of course, uh, he's along with us every Friday, even if he's not here in person, he's here. Uh, he sends us the information. If we don't have it, uh, uh, he, he sends it to us. And so um, it's, it was great to see him again. And um, it's always great, always great. Okay, you're tuned to uh, the Coffee Hour. My name is Frank Allen, and we're aboard with you for another seven minutes or so. And uh, within that seven, seven minutes, we have uh, more information. For instance, I have the information of the movies that you like so much, those classic, turn of classic movies. You heard about them, right? Yes, indeed. Now, if you are a movie buff like I am, and you love those classic movies, those black and whites, those, the originals, well, I have a few that I picked out for uh, my pick for the weekend. And I would just want to add to your bucket list to watch just in case uh, you don't want to go out and do the town or anything and you'd rather stay home or at least partially home. And then you could watch these movies that come on and all of the movies that I give to you are in succession and you don't have to worry about them overlapping. So you don't have to miss any of these movies. I purposely design it that way because if I'm going to tell you about a movie to watch, I want to make sure you be able to watch it in its fullness. All right. So let's get started right away and commemorating Jackie Robinson. Brian gave us that information just the 78th year of uh, 78 years ago when he broke the color barrier. And so in commemoration, Turner Classic Movies is playing the Jackie Robinson story. Uh, and back in 1950, starring the man himself, Jackie Robinson, the Jackie Robinson story. And that comes on tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. 
right there on Turner Classic Movies. And if you continue to watch baseball, you like baseball, you love baseball movies, here's another one, The Pride of the Yankees back in 1942 with Gary Cooper and Teresa Wright, all on Turner Classic Movies. That's on Saturday at 12 a.m. That's tonight. You know, right after, I get, I would imagine right after the Jackie Robinson story, maybe not directly after the Jackie Robinson story, but 12 a.m., that's Friday night, tonight, Saturday morning, midnight, uh, the Pride of the Yankees, and that's Don't Turn to Classic Movies. You could watch that, and if you don't get able to get, if you're not able to wake up that, uh, uh, stay up that late, have a hard time staying up, of course, you could always DVR it. All of these movies you can DVR. Up next, The Multi Falcon with Humphrey Bogart. That comes on Turner Classic Movies Saturday afternoon at 3.15 p.m. Eastern. And that was back in 1941 when that was done. And here's another biblical uh, movie since we're into the Easter holiday and this is Holy Weekend or Holy Week. Uh, we have The Greatest Story Ever Told back in 1965 starring Max von Sydow and uh, Charlton Heston, and a taste of Sidney Poitier. In this movie, Sidney Poitier doesn't have a speaking part, but he's in a nice chunk of the movie. And um, this will be happening on Sunday at 6.30 a.m. So if you're waking up real early, just before you go to church, or maybe you don't have time to watch it then, but then you could watch it later on as you DVR it. Also, the Easter Parade, back in 1948 with Fred Astaire and Judy Garland. And that's on Sunday on Turner Classic Movies at 8 p.m. Eastern. And you could watch that too, DVR it uh, if you're not there. But that's, that's, 8, that's 8 p.m. Eastern on Sunday night. So, you know, you're up, right? You could watch it. Also, here's another biblical movie for the Easter celebration, King of Kings, 1961 with Jeffrey Hunter. And that's also on Turner Classic Movies that's Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern. You could watch that there as well Sunday and I believe that may be directly after the, after the uh after the Easter parade with uh Judy Garland in front of Stair and uh, so that's the King of Kings that's a long movie though it's a long movie so uh prepare for it uh and if you don't think that you'll stay up long enough to see it you can watch it in chunks or by DVRing it Okay, so there you go. Now, uh, there are other great movies on Turner Classic Movies you might care, you might care to enjoy uh, that I didn't put up there because these are only my picks. There are others there, are great movies. So you go to uh, Turner Classic Movies and go through the banner and go through the uh, program guide and scan through it and you'll see other movies that you may like. Also, if you're uh, there with, um, uh, movies that you like uh, you can go movie on demand there are a lot of movies from every era and a whole list of them movies that you probably haven't seen in a long time and movies that will jog your memory and you might want to take a take a look it's all there and if you like sports of course like i do like wrestling particularly you know when i miss a match i can always go on depending on what network what network it's on i could always go on and watch it on the repeat on um on, on the uh, on the app, just knock out the app and it's right there, you know. And you also have the other networks, ABC, NBC, CBS, all of those networks are there and all documentaries there on uh, CNN, all of those things are there. And it's a matter of you going there. So let me quickly uh, run down the movies again. That's a Jackie Robinson story. That's uh, Friday, that's tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. Friday, the Yankees, that's, uh, uh, Midnight tonight, uh, Saturday morning, um, Turner Classic Movies. You have Multi Falcons with Humphrey Bogard, and that's at 3.15 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. Greatest story ever told, uh, ever told from um, Max Van Saito and um, Charlton Hestern, and that's Sunday at 6.30 a.m. Easter Parade with Fred Astaire and Judy Garland, Sunday at 8 p.m., and King of Kings with Jeffrey Hunter at 10 p.m., and every time it's all Eastern. So there you have it. Well, that's going to wrap it up for me for today. I enjoyed it, as I always do. I hope you did as well. Uh, I am going to be uh, here Thursday for Talk Back Live. Brian Kent will be with me with the latest developments in today's world of sports on Sports Update. And we hope that you're here. That's every Thursday between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern. 
Uh, other than that, I will be back here next week with Brian Camp and DJ Pete Sports and, of course, entertainment news and reciting all of those birthdays of people of notoriety. That's what he does. And it'll be right back here on the Coffee Hour. I hope you will be here. Uh, if uh, you didn't get a chance to watch this live, we're going to be posting this show on uh, Facebook directly after the show. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day, a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Take care. You've been watching The Coffee Hour with Frank Allen. The producer has been Al Dale. Technical assistance, Dave Taylor. Research by Sandy Pierce. And I'm your announcer, Donna Stenke. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next time on The Coffee Hour.